Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because it is being brought to you by GlassesUSA.com. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of GlassesUSA.com. I do not have glasses on right now at the beginning of this video. I just want to clarify because of the last few times I've worked with GlassesUSA.com, I don't start my videos off with the glasses on because I film with natural daylight, which means lots of light coming in, and it's kind of distracting to be able to see a little bit of that reflection um, in the glasses. And whenever I watch anybody's glasses videos, I'm always just like distracted. I don't want you guys to be distracted. I want you to hear everything I'm saying and be paying attention. So that is why I don't start off these videos with the glasses on. I am excited to be partnering with GlassesUSA.com again. They are one of my favorite companies to work with. Going glasses shopping, if you're anything like me, is one of the most frustrating things in the world. And I know that sounds overly dramatic, but I just, I now have to go glasses shopping for my husband, for myself, and for my teenage daughter, and it's just frustrating. Not only does it take a long time to find glasses that you like or they like, but then it's also frustrating because maybe that place doesn't have the best selection to you know find the glasses that you really really love. I really love GlassesUSA.com because they have a huge selection of both men and women or unisex glasses. Also GlassesUSA.com because it is an online store they can offer the same amazing quality glasses but at a lower price for you. So all you moms out there, all you just not very big spenders out there, all you just who want to save money out there, this is a great website for you to check out. Um, also, because it is online, I get some people are like, how do you know how to find the right glasses if it's online and you can't try it out? GlassesUSA.com has this amazing like mirroring tool, I think is what it's called, but basically you just upload a picture of yourself or your child or your husband or whoever or your partner. You just upload that up to their little tool online and then you just add whatever glasses you want onto that picture and then it can show you exactly what those glasses are going to look like on you. So for all those reasons I'm super excited to be collaborating with them again also because I was able to get my oldest daughter Ava as you guys know I do have a I hate calling her a preteen because she's basically a teenager. She's 13 years old. She'll be 14 this year. Uh, but I was able to get her some glasses, which she was really excited about. I was able to get my husband some glasses, which he was excited about. And then, of course, I was able to get myself some nice glasses as well. So I'm just going to go right into it and show you guys what I picked out, what I picked out for my husband. Also, then you'll see my daughter at the end of this video. When she gets home from school, I'll show you what they her glasses that she picked out look like on hers. So starting off, when you get your new glasses, you're gonna get them in this really nice box. Every single time I've gotten an order from them, my glasses have come in really nice condition. Nothing's been broken, nothing's been dented. And then inside, you will find your pairs of glasses. And then they also come with your prescription card, which looks like this. And then each one of their glasses comes with a really nice hard case. Depending on what brand you get, you know, if you get one of their higher end, you know, like the Ray-Bans that I got in a previous video, those will come in a Ray-Ban case or the Coach glasses that I got came in a nice Coach case. My sunglasses case comes in its own designer case. But for in-house brands, you do get a really nice Glasses USA uh like hard glasses case and then each pair of glasses also comes with a white. So the first pair of glasses I got are these and these are my favorite out of all the glasses I've gotten at all, which is huge, because you guys know I, I, this is not my first video with them. So these are actually my favorite favorite, and I wasn't expecting them to be my favorite because they are a round shape. I have had a phobia when it comes to round frames since I was a child because the only frames I ever wore as a kid or my parents would get me were round frames. I don't know why, uh, but they were always round frames and they never look good on me. But these are my favorite. They're just a nice tortoiseshell, just is very fitting to my face. They're not too small, they're not too big, and they are definitely my favorite out of all of them. They don't slide down my face too much. I do have a little bit of sliding, but that's just because I have a, I have a, no nose bridge, you guys know, Asian, Asian problems. Um, but for the most part, they stay up really, really well, especially since I adjusted the, I think these are called the, the arms of them. Um, I just kind of melted them with my hair dryer. I warmed up the plastic and then I just kind of bent them. So now they sit on my face a lot better without sliding down or moving around. So the next ones I got, these are kind of funny. I was sending pictures of myself in these to my girlfriend and I was calling them my Pam Beasley glasses. If you watch The Office, you would understand this reference. <laughs> yeah, 
So these are my Pam Beasley glasses. But these are kind of like a hipster old lady glasses in my opinion. They are round again. They have metal arms to them that are gold and then the actual frame around the lenses is a light pink with gold metal in it. So these I just thought it was fun you know like I just wanted to try something outside my comfort zone. I just think they're fun like if I'm I don't know sometimes it's just fun to change up your look you know and if I can't dye my hair or chop it all off glasses but I really like these because again they're different and they're very comfortable because they're super lightweight so those are my Pam, those are my Pam Beasley glasses the next pair of glasses I got are pink as well these are from the Hillary Duff Muse collection so Muse which is their in-house brand uh, collaborated with Hillary Duff and came out with a line of glasses One with this nice little bag there's also stickers inside um, kind of makes me feel a little old but whatever, there's stickers and then like a little pamphlet with Hilary Duff's beautiful face on there. Come in a nice little case as well, Glasses USA, because again, it is a collaboration with her brand. But then the inside is lined with a really pretty pink velvet and then there's the glasses and then it comes with a really nice pink velvet um, lens wipe. So these are pink, these are pink, I'm just gonna warn you. And they are in an aviator frame. So. I just really like the way aviator frames fit my face. I also really love the way they feel. Uh, my sunglasses are Ray-Bans or the aviator style. I do have a pair of glasses that are aviators that don't have the metal around. It's just like the lens itself. I just really like this style because it just it's very comfortable on my face. Whether or not people think it looks really good, I don't care, but it's comfortable on my face. So I saw these and I was just like, I really want to try those because they look really fun. And I do really, really like them. They're a little bit big for my face. And mind you, I have a huge head, so that's saying something. But I kind of like the fact that they're oversized. I kind of like it. It's also nice because if they do start sliding or moving, it's such a huge lens that I can still see everywhere without going like what 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 I like it moving on to the last pair of glasses I got myself I did get a pair of designer sunglasses because if you were me and you were able to wouldn't you <laughs> so I did get a pair of Tom Ford sunglasses which I have been drooling over not since doing a collab with glasses USA but since I saw a pair on this Asian bloggers website that she had bought she had talked about how Tom Ford sunglasses were like one of the only pairs of like designer sunglasses that sat on her face really comfortably and that fit her face. So ever since I saw that, I was like, I want a pair of Tom Ford sunglasses. So when I had the chance to get these, I was so excited and I love these so much. So it comes in a beautiful Tom Ford case. Like I said, they have tons of designer higher end glasses if that's what you want. And then inside are the sunglasses. And then you also get a Tom Ford card that just certifies that they're Tom Ford designer glasses. And then in that plastic is a very nice, again, glasses wipe. <laughs> I feel like the higher end of the sunglasses, the bigger the case is. Like, how huge is that? Like, that is a huge case. But these are fun. So these are very similar to the Muse sunglasses that I had in my last uh, glasses haul. But these, I will say the Asian blogger did not lie. These sit on my Asian flat, no nose bridge face, so stinking well. They are amazing. They don't move, nothing. Like there's something about the way they're cut. They sit up high where they're supposed to without sliding down. I don't know what it is, but this woman, I totally get now why she's like, Tom Ford sunglasses, Tom Ford sunglasses, because I these just, fit so well on my face and they're not Asian cut like they're not Asian cut specific they just fit really well so if you're Asian check out Tom Ford as much as I hate to say that because it's super expensive these might work for you if you want those big glamorous don't talk to me sunglasses Mariah Carey's gotta sing tonight sunglasses if you want that style but you don't want to have the issue of them falling down on your face try a pair of Tom Ford's on if you have the money because they are they're amazing I mean they're just beautiful they're absolutely beautiful. And I feel very blessed and very lucky right now to have these on my cheap face. <laughs> so I love these. And again, they're just, yeah. But if you can't afford the Tom Ford ones, again, the Muse ones from my last haul. Actually, I'm gonna go grab those real quick to show you real quick, hold on. All right, so if you can't afford the Tom Ford sunglasses, don't feel bad, either can I. <laughs> 
have to do videos like this to get them. Don't feel bad because they have a pair of in-house Muse sunglasses that are just as nice. Look at that. They still have the same don't talk to me vibe and they fit really well as well. The quality is there. I mean, they're, these are really nice as well. So don't feel bad if you can't go bougie because you can always do affordable and still look bougie, which I really like these too. Yeah, these are my don't talk to me glasses as well. So Tom Ford, a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna lie, fits a little bit better on my flat face, but if you don't have the flat face issue and you don't wanna spend as much, the Muse ones, just as nice. All right, moving on. Let's get to John. I know you guys are all wondering, what are those glasses that John picked? He, John has a pretty basic, classic, square, lead frame, just, you know, stereotypical white guy. Um, glasses, <laughs> glasses uh, preference. So I kind of wanted to take him out of his comfort zone just a little bit. You guys know his, just all of his frames have looked exactly like, but just a little bit different. So I wanted to take him outside of his comfort zone. So I did pick out a pair of more unique frames that I felt like he would still be comfortable in. So we'll show you that now. Ta-da! This is what John's glasses look like on him. Again, they kind of look like basic. See how distracting the like sun is though, like what, in, the, in our in our glasses. I feel I'm like I'm just looking at this this. Uh, yeah. What is that called? A lens. Camera. This is what John's look like. He again. He has a pretty basic. I said the white guy preference for glasses. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's totally just like you know the square black frame, but these are a little bit different than his last ones. These have a bigger frame in the front, a little bit wider, and then this is my favorite part it's is wood. that they do have like a nice the gray front part's wood. Really too. Yes, the whole thing is wood except for the hinges are metal, and obviously the lens is. The lenses aren't wood. They're not no. wood, <laughs> but the frame itself is wood, and I think it's really really cool. The detailing on it is so neat like it just looked really different for just a basic pair of men's glasses so i really really like these john really really likes them nuna keeps bringing me a toy nuna keeps bringing him a toy <laughs> to play because this is the only time he's like sitting Did here you tell him about the, the lenses the so and then the lenses are progressive lenses because i'm old because john's getting old and i needed to have the bifocals he is still getting used to that i'm it says it takes like four it, weeks it takes a little time i don't know but it's his first pair of progressives so uh, but that does make you sound really old. Oh, yeah. So those are John's glasses. Like I said, he did get progressives. I think you like them, right? You like the progressives? I'm starting to like them. Yeah, it's it just like takes, it takes, like, thing. It wah, takes a little wah, while. Wah. Most important part is that he loves the frames. Uh-huh. He really loves the frames. What do you like best about them? The design or the lightweightness? Like, what do I like best about them? Yeah, it? about your I like new that frames. they're wood. You like that they're wood? <laughs> I do like having the, the progressive lenses because then I can, my phone's actually in like, focus. when I look at it, it's actually in focus. It's like I have a new phone. What do you think of my glasses? They're nice. Are these your favorite other ones that I've gotten so far? They're my favorite. I think so, yeah. yeah. They fit your face really well. I really like these. And they're not like completely normal like mine. I didn't mean it in a bad way. It's just every <laughs> single guy, especially YouTubers' husbands, that's all you see. They're all looking like this. Beard. Glasses. What? I just look like a normal person. Yeah, exactly. What's wrong with that? Exactly. Anyways, go away now. You go away. So there you have it. There's John's pair. Now moving on to Ava. Let's talk about my 13-year-old daughter. You guys know I love her. This is her first time she's been in a video since she was like a long, long time. Six, seven years ago. Long time. She, I love her to death but she is a teenager. She is picky. She doesn't always know what she wants and she takes forever to make decisions. So shopping online with her was one of maybe the best things that glassesusa.com has ever given me because I did not have to stand in the middle of a department store or a glasses place or an office just like waiting for her to make a decision on what glasses to get. It was amazing. Instead, I was sitting on my couch with her in my pajamas with a warm fuzzy blanket on. It was amazing. So I appreciate shopping online for glasses so much more since having a teenager, uh, but she picked out two really awesome pairs of glasses that she loves. She got a pair of glasses and sunglasses, which I will show you now. 
All right, guys, so here is my daughter, Ava. Hi. These are her new glasses. She's super excited. The glasses she usually wears are all round, like very round, yeah. like the first ones that I showed you. That's usually her style. So this was outside of her comfort zone, but she picked these out. Do you like them? I do like them. Yeah, are they comfortable? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she usually wears her glasses like down her nose. So I'm kind of happy she finally got glasses with feet on them because I feel like they help this like keep them up. But she really likes them. I think they're really cute on her. Thank yeah, you. you like them? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll see the sunglasses. She gets prescription sunglasses, which this is her first pair of prescription sunglasses she's ever had. Pretty excited because now she can see with sunglasses on, which before she couldn't. I like these on her a lot too. These are similar to another pair that I had gotten her before, but they didn't have prescription in them. I don't always, I don't know. If you have a child who wears glasses all the time, I would highly suggest getting them prescription, prescription sunglasses because Looking back, I was always kind of like, you don't need that, you don't need that, and then I put her glasses on just to like try them on, and this girl is like blind. <laughs> and I didn't realize that because the doctor kind of downplayed the severity of her prescription, and I never thought to put her glasses on to see if they, how bad they were, but she legit has reasons to like not be able to see right. And so if your kid wears glasses all the time, I would highly suggest getting them sunglasses with prescription on them because it's only fair that they should be able to see when the sun is out and bright. And you want to protect their eyes anyways from all the bad UVs. She likes both of them though a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah. She's been wearing those nonstop <laughs> since she got them. Like, I don't even know where her other glasses are. Do you want to order more? Yeah. So I have like, you know, I can mix it up, mix it up every day, you know? Yeah, she's my daughter. So if you want to shop for your child, there are plenty of styles on there. I mean, it took forever, like I said, to pick out glasses for her. And again, it was nice because I could just sit on my couch and just kind of let her do her thing. And I just waited till she picked some. And then that was that. It was perfect. So, yeah, there you have it. What do you say, Eva? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. What? Thank you <laughs> Thank to Glasses you. USA for sending you glasses. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. Like I said, I took off the glasses because it's just a little bit distracting, or maybe I'm just the one getting distracted, but uh, thank you for watching, as always. Thank you, GlassesUSA.com, for not only providing me with glasses this time, but also providing my daughter with new glasses and her prescription sunglasses. Thank you for getting my husband some progressives. It's awesome. He's loving life right now because he can actually see stuff you know right here and of course you know me you guys know i love changing up my look all the time and just playing around with the way that i accessorize so it's really cool to be able to have that opportunity to have so many different pairs of glasses to do that so thank you so much again glassesusa.com uh, thank you to you guys for watching these videos and for constantly just supporting my channel and you know the ability to get these types of sponsorships again i'll leave the link to where you can go to shop their glasses along with all of our frames that we've picked out that will all be in the info box. So if you like videos like this with my family in them, with just, you know, stuff, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna see more, comment below if you have a favorite, and I don't know, just whatever. If you wanna chat with us, comment below. I will talk to you guys all in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.